What's up, Elite Thetics athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another Thetics video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to get a crazy shoulder workout, the serious pump using no weight, just a little resistance band, a piece of equipment that's super lightweight that you could take absolutely anywhere and get a solid workout in with. Each resistance band comes with its own amount of resistance, so getting a thicker band is like picking up a heavier dumbbell. Now, you can use resistance bands for assistance and exercises as well, and it will do the opposite effect. The thicker the band is, the more weight it's gonna alleviate from your body to allow you to do an exercise that you may not have the strength yet to do so or to alleviate some weight so that you're able to increase your repetitions and build more strength. But for today, we're gonna to be using the bands for resistance, and this is gonna be all the weight that we're gonna need for today's workout. Now, if you need a resistance band to take your training with you everywhere, visit thenx.com shop. We have them all in the shop, from lighter bands like these red ones to thicker bands that have a lot much more resistance. So if you don't have one, get yours right now at thenx.com shop. Now, in order to get an effective shoulder workout, you need to make sure that you're hitting all three heads of your shoulders. That's gonna be your frontal, medial, and rear delt. Now, there's a lot of shoulder exercises out there, but not all of them engage all three of your delts. And some shoulder exercises emphasize mainly on just one delt. So you have to make sure that you're selecting the right combination of shoulder exercises to make sure that you're getting a full complete shoulder workout and that you're hitting all areas of your shoulders. That's not only going to strengthen your shoulders to its fullest potential, but it's also going to prevent muscle imbalances and injuries. A lot of times we have shoulder impingements or we have pain in our shoulders because we're lacking in one of the delts, most commonly the rear delt. But today I'm going to show you how to effectively hit your rear delt as well as all of your delts with just this little resistance band. So if you're ready to get started, make sure you download the Thenix app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Open up to the YouTube workout section. You should be able to find this routine, have your resistance band in hand, and you're ready to get started. Now to start off, we're gonna be focusing on our rear delt as it's the most neglected one. So I'm gonna take my resistance band and you can just tie it around any stable surface. A lot of times when I'm in the house, I'll probably put this on like a doorknob, something like that. So you can put it through. Now the first exercise we're gonna be going for is face pulls. Let me angle myself so you can get a better view. I'm holding both sides of the resistance band. I'm gonna squeeze my scapulas back, squeeze my core. I'm gonna bring it all the way to my face and right back down, full range of motion. Let's go for 15 reps. When doing your face pulls, you wanna have a tight grip on the resistance band, but you wanna be emphasizing pulling from your elbows and squeezing your scapulas and shoulder blades behind you, trying to get your shoulder blades to touch each other as you slightly pull up towards your eyes. All right, there we have the first exercise, face pulls. That's gonna be engaging our rear delts. So now we're gonna go into the next rear delt exercise. That's gonna be single arm rear delt flies with the resistance band. And since I have one band today, I'm gonna to be doing each arm isolated. You can do both if you have two bands, but it's good to do it isolated on both sides as well because it can cure muscle imbalances and strengthen each individual side. So you wanna have a tight grip on the band. You want your feet shoulder width apart, and we're gonna have a slight angle in so that we have more range of motion when we come out with our arm. So keep your core tight, you're gonna come out from your rear delt and your elbow. Come right back in, control the whole entire movement, 12 on each side. switch keep the nice angle so we have more range of motion all the way out all right now if you notice I'm not bending my arm like this I'm keeping my arms straight so I can really engage my rear delt as it's coming down I'm staying straight and as it's coming back out, I'm keeping my arm straight as well. All right, so now we're ready to move on to the next exercise. That's gonna be skis with the resistance band, the last rear delt exercise. So we're gonna hold the resistance band, have a really good grip, we're gonna be right in front. We want our feet shoulder width apart, and again, our core tight, scapula's pulled back. We're gonna come down, almost like we're getting into a deadlift position, and from here, we're gonna bring our arms straight back. Again, our arms have to stay straight to really engage our rear delt. So take full range of motion and come right back. 12 on each side. All right, switch. All 
last one. Squeeze, hold, hold, hold. All right. That's gonna be the last rear delt exercise. And as I was getting into this exercise, I took an extra step back just to add more resistance for the movement. The further you are and the more tension there's on the resistance band, of course, the more weight and resistance is gonna be applied to the exercise. And if this is too easy, you can always pick up a thicker band and it's definitely gonna get a whole lot harder. Now we're ready to start emphasizing on our frontal delt with these next exercises. The first one is gonna be straight arm frontal raise with the resistance band. Now I'm doing these straight arm because this is really gonna strengthen your tendons as well and build your straight arm strength for more advanced exercises like full planche holds and pressing up into a handstand from a full planche position. So if you're just getting started, you don't have to lock out your arms completely straight, but try to keep them as straight as possible. And over time, as you continue to strengthen this exercise and the ligaments and tendons, associated with it, you should be able to lock out your arm and start doing this exercise with your arm completely locked out, start developing that straight arm strength. So let's get right into it. We're gonna be doing isolated arms. I'm gonna start with one, have a nice grip. As you can see, I'm gonna try to over curl my arm a bit, kind of like a false grip to emphasize that I'm pushing from the ditch of my elbow as well as my frontal delt. See, just like that. Now I'm at the side of the resistance band so that I'm not hitting myself when I come up, right? So you wanna to stand to the side. We're gonna go for 12 repetitions. Keeping your arms straight, pushing your frontal delt forward, right back. And if your arms are straight locked out, you should be leading with the ditch of your elbow. As well as your frontal delt. All right, let's go ahead and switch. Last one, hold it, nice and straight. All right, that is a killer frontal delt exercise. It's also one of the best exercises to develop straight arm strength necessary for full planche push-ups and way harder advanced exercises like pressing from a planche to a handstand and back down. We're gonna move on to the next frontal delt exercise with anterior raises. So we're gonna go ahead and turn around. We're gonna have a pronated grip and we're gonna bring our hands all the way up, all the way back down. Keep your arms straight. Let's go for 10 reps. that you keep your back straight and you're still bringing your scapulas back. So with the first exercise, we were really emphasizing on the first 90 degrees. Now with this next exercise, we're working on the rest of the 90 degrees, completing 180 degrees, the full range of motion for our interior delt. So now we're ready to move on to our medial delts, which is the last head to complete our shoulders. Also keep in mind that the majority of shoulder exercises are almost always engaging your medial delts. And many shoulder exercises engage your anterior as well, which is why we had one more rear delt exercise than our medial and our anterior, because we're already indirectly hitting anterior and medial delts. So often every time we do bench press push-ups handstands and other exercises that you may do throughout the week which is why the rear delt tends to be more underdeveloped compared to your other two delts so on our shoulder days we want to make sure to show extra love to our rear delts and now we're ready to hit our medial delts which we'll be using lateral raises so i'm gonna go ahead and take off this band i'm gonna stand on the band give it as much resistance as i would use for a lateral raise. That's of course as much resistance as it will allow me to complete this move with perfect form, but also complete the repetitions. In this case, we're gonna go for 15 reps on both sides. So keep your core tight, stand up straight, feet shoulder width apart, shoulders back, bring it all the way up, all the way back down. Last one, you wanna make sure to really squeeze and control the entire movement all the way up and all the way down. All right, here we go, get a good grip. All the way up, all the way down. All right, 
That was the last rep right there. And now I have one last exercise for you. This last exercise is gonna emphasize on our medial delt as well as our frontal delt. That's gonna be shoulder press with the resistance band. Now I would always recommend to do the progression pike push-ups or elevated pike push-ups as these are direct progressions to train to develop your strength to eventually be doing freestanding handstand push-ups 90 degree push-ups and a lot more and these progressions take absolutely no equipment and can be done everywhere but since we're using resistance bands today i'm going to be showing you how to do a shoulder press with just the resistance bands so i'm going to use a thicker band to add more resistance add more weight to this exercise i'm going to step on the band about shoulder width apart i'm going to bring it up from right here, I'm gonna press up, bring it behind my head, press up, in front, up. Let's go for 20. Keep your core tight. All right, there we have it. The last exercise to finish off this effective shoulder routine using nothing but resistance bands. And as you can see, my shoulders are pumped. Keep in mind that your body doesn't know the difference between what type of resistance that you're using. Body weight, weights, or resistance bands. Resistance is resistance. All of them can be used to build muscle and each and every one of them have their own specific advantages. So make sure that you incorporate all forms of resistance in your training if you really wanna be the sharpest blade in your toolbox. So if you were able to make it through this routine with me, congratulations, you're on your way to building some solid shoulder strength. And the more you do this routine, you're definitely gonna get a whole lot stronger and be able to go for more rounds. You wanna be able to do at least three to four rounds to complete this routine and to benefit the most out of this workout. And don't forget, to get this workout and many more getting you in the best shape of your life, make sure you sign up to thanks.com and become a member. Get full access to all our workout programs, daily workouts, and technique guides that are gonna have you shredded. Don't forget to download the Thenix app in the App Store to take our workouts with you everywhere and join the millions of other Thenix athletes around the world getting in the best shape of their lives right now. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you want the next video to be about, and share this video with a friend that can use a resistance band workout to get shredded from anywhere. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some free Thenx gear. And for more of my content during the week, make sure you're following my vlog channel. I post every single Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And make sure you're following me on Instagram. Every post, I do some type of giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're following me on IG. And lastly, as I've been mentioning, I have my brand new Harrier Collection drop with a lot of the pieces to the collection that you've seen on this channel and many videos like the white track pants, black track pants, black workout shorts, and a whole lot more is gonna be dropping in December. We actually had to push it back a couple weeks, but stay tuned and make sure you're following me on Instagram, that's Chris Heria, to know exactly when the drop is coming. These are all limited pieces, so you wanna make sure to get it before we're all sold out. And with that said, I'll see you next Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love, peace out.